From the moment we're born, we're told how to live our lives. We're tossed into these socially constructed boxes that constantly tell us how to look, how to think, and how to act. When you're growing up, your parents teach you the difference between what they believe is good and bad, and what's right and what's wrong. But as you grow older and begin to come into your own, you form an identity for yourself. Well, not you, initially. Your concept of self has been replayed thousands of times over by the media. It's all about you. Be bold. Just go for it. Don't be afraid and have fun. To create gorgeous hair that lasts. So I use Tresemme hairsprays. The hold is amazing. So the color stays healthy and vibrant. Pantene Color Solutions. Your ex won't know what hit him. The self you think you've created is only a reflection of your media environments. Because media technology is an extension of human consciousness and perception, which functions to shape how we think, perceive, and understand the world. The media massages your consciousness to believe you are a unique individual. Unlike anyone else, but in all actuality, we are all much alike. With TV, radio, internet, magazines, and newspapers, the average person is exposed to about 5,000 plus advertisements a day. Many of these advertisements cause the consumers, us, to think about themselves in relation to the advertised product. Think of beauty and what we associate beauty with. Thin, young, muscular, ideal hair and makeup, all views and characteristics that are constantly reinforced by media on an everyday basis. So what do we do as a society? We replicate. We've gone so far as to try to achieve the unattainable of the hyperreal. Hyperreal is when the sign and symbols of the real has replaced the real, creating an artificial reality. Consumers and users then consider this new symbol superior to the real thing. The rate of plastic surgery has dramatically increased over the last few years, where in 2014, there was 15.6 million cosmetic procedures, which is a 3% increase from the year before. $12.9 billion was spent on cosmetic procedures in the U.S. alone in 2014. That's not speaking of the makeup industry. In 2013, the U.S. makeup industry had a total revenue of $56.63 billion. If one in every three women admit that they refuse to leave the house without makeup on, what does that say about what we think of our natural selves? Is the face that I'm born with not good enough? We've replaced the real with the symbol of the real, and the map has overtaken the territory. We are constantly trying to improve our natural self to mimic the new trends, all thinking we are unique without realizing that unique is only an understatement.